Okay, this is December in the greenhouse. And as you can see, uh, this stuff's not doing that well. I mean, yeah, there's tomatoes. There's peppers. There's cucumbers. But everything looks kind of like this. Everything looks not that good. Plus, I've seen some fruit flies here and there, and those are never good. So what I want to do is next year, next growing season, I'm going to start the seeds in January 1 or February 1, depending on what we're going to plant. I got to figure out how to cover up these so that I don't get an appetizing an appetizer for the fruit flies. <laughs> Basically, I know they're going to come through the front door, but I got to minimize because they wrecked havoc on these peppers, even though these peppers are looking pretty tasty. I don't know. I don't know, when I look at these, I'm like, oh, you guys, you guys look so awesome. But yeah, let's, let's try to zero in. I do everything organic around here and you can see these these poor guys have been neemed and neemed and neemed and just I don't know even though it's an organic like an organic method it's just it's sad <laughs> and yeah so you can see so I might just um, open these doors up and let the Mother Nature come in with nice freezing weather and just refresh this greenhouse. Yeah, and if you want to wonder um, what these, you could see what happened with these, why they're all white. It's just because I use hydrogen peroxide. Yeah, anyway, live and learn. Probably do less concentration next year. Yeah, lots of, lots of beautiful biomass here. But again, you know, check it out. It's like, what is that? Why is that happening? <laughs> so yeah, probably, probably January 1, I'll just uh, salvage those plants right there. Pardon me, I'll zoom in. Basically, I'll take these inside. Cacti, the cacti, Mrs. Pink, and the plant from Venus. <laughs> All right, later.